What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Fan Friday, and today's winner is actually Mega Tyranitar EX. So I had no idea how to build this, so I actually posted. I said, "How should we build this?" And make sure I get the correct thing said. Um, where is that post at? Now I can't. Now I'm not gonna be able to find it. Okay, there it is. All right, nine replies. Um, Aiden said, "Mega Base, Coco, Dark Patches, Elixirs, Mega Turbo." Ooh, I forgot about Mega Turbo in here. Oh my goodness. How do we fit Mega Turbo in here? Oh man. I forgot about Mega Turbo. Let me make sure. Mega Turbo. Is this from Disco Pro as well? Mmm. Do we play the Mega Turbos or not? What do we cut for Mega Turbos? Oh my goodness. This is like on the fly kind of change happening. I don't know what we could really cut for as a problem here. Um. Hmm. What do we add? I guess we got a Team Mag or Secret Base. Go down to two. Okay, because Coco Flip should be really nice. Uh, we could probably go down to... We'll hit three Cynthia, three in. Maybe go down to four. Jiri Pur, play nine supporter cards with a four compressor. That's probably enough. And then maybe the two is just fine for Mega Turbos. This is a problem with the deck. There's a lot of stuff we want to fit in here. We could go down to two Tyran Mega Tyranitars. But that was scared if we prize one. They knock out one early. Then... I think that's still fine. Yeah, we prize one and then they knock out one early. Do you have no more attackers? So I think... Going that way is fine. We'll put two Mega Turbos in that way. Alright, so there we go. Now we're ready for the video. Alright, so what's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish and Uncle's YouTube channel. Where sometimes we make on-the-fly changes. So, today we're looking at Mega Tyranitar EX. That's the deck that won. And uh, what Mega Tyranitar EX says has 240 HP. He is a beast. He has a Theta Double, which we're not going to abuse today. Theta Double makes where you have two tools attached to it. Really not going to worry about that too much. What we're worried about here is the Destroyer King. It does 110, and this attack does 60 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Great. That is fantastic. So, what we're going to do here is uh, spread some damage and use Destroyer King, do some, some big numbers, and take knockouts that way. That is the goal of today's deck. So, playing a 3-3 Mega Turnitar line. This Mega Turnitar X not really worth it. Don't worry about it. Uh, Coco is the way we're going to spread our damage with Flying Flip. Does 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench. Uh, but you're, up to your opponent's Pokemon. So once you spread once, you start to 120, which means your King does 230. Just put that out there. Really strong attack for sure. Uh, so the problem with the deck though is that sometimes they're gonna go after your Mega Tyranitars, and they constantly keep going your Mega Tyranitars. What you can use is Spirit Tomb. Uh, Spirit Tomb has a damage play attack. Move as many damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon as you like to any of your opponent's other Pokemon in any way you like. So essentially, you just move the damage counters any way you want to on the bench side. I think this is still a very good attack, especially if you're flying flip for a lot of turns. And then. Once you fly flip for a bunch of turns, you can then use damage play, take a knockout that way, take a bunch of knockouts. So they like focus your Mega Tyranitars over and over again. You can eventually sit a Spear to take a knockout that way and win the game, which is still pretty nice uh, once you fly flip a bunch of turns. Like if they ignore the Coco and go out of Tyranitar, then you can eventually just like fly flip plus the Spear to for knockout. Uh, one Dark Ride, just for the Dark Cloak ability to have that free treat. And two Lele to help set up. So three Compressor to get energy, or get cards in discard pile. Which is mostly going to be Dark Energies and some Supporter cards, of course. Uh, one Computer Search for Consistency. Four Dark Patch. Attach a basic Dark Energy from your Discard Route to one of your Bench Dark Pokemon. That's how we're going to power up our Mega Tyranitars while our Coco is flying flipping. Uh, two Mega Turbo. So now we have Mega Turbos as well attached to your Mega Pokemon from your Discard Pile. Uh, one Stretcher, four Ultra Ball. Four Via Seeker to use any Supporter cards. And two Magma Base. I'm still iffy on the Magma Bases just because it hurts us as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's a good inclusion. We could just cut these because once you spread once, you do a ton of damage. Uh, one thing we could maybe put in here is uh, Poke Puff and make it where they, if they have Pokemon, they automatically drop it and then you can fly and flip, which is pretty nice, which is another thing we could do. But we're going to keep the Mag Bases in here. If they put a Pokemon down, they take two damage counters and then you can fly and flip again. They have four. Then you're doing 250 with Mega Tyranitar, which is pretty nice. Uh, actually, no, Destroy King, yeah, yeah, it does, yeah, well, yeah, it does way more than 150, what are you talking about, Josh? It does, like, a billion damage if they have Flying Flip plus Magma Base, duh, Josh. Uh, three Cynthia, one Guzma, three and three Juniper, I don't know the supporter counts, we're just playing a bunch of supporters, trying to be as consistent as possible for Via Seeker. Uh, three Mega Tyranitar, Spear Link, so we don't evolve when we end, because if you're new to the game, when you make Evolve and you don't have Spear Link, your turn ends, which we do not want. Uh, four DCE, because Destroyer King needs a two Dark and a DCE. Plus, Coco needs to, a DC to attack. Um, I kind of want to cut the the, the, the the Magma Bases right now. And put a Special Charge in here as well. Hmm, do we play Special Charge or not, guys? That's the question. I think we do need Special Charge to get back our DCEs. Um, but we played four of them. I think that's fine with eight Dark. I think we're fine here. 
We'll test the deck out. We'll see. I guess one of the changes I might consider is playing special charge. This is the one thing about playing on Fan Friday is I don't like have enough time to uh, play these decks. So play Mega Tyranitar. Is that you spell Tyranitar? T Y R N Tyranitar. Tyranitar. Where's Pupitar? Where's Lavatar? Okay, so we'll play Mega Tyranitar. We'll go to Versus. This is expanded, um, which is a little scary. I don't know what we're weak to. I should have probably looked at that as well. Hmm. Maybe if we did like fighting, we could have put like Mewtwo in here. Maybe counter that. Maybe where's Mega Tyranitar? There it is. Alrighty. So we have this very interesting deck um, that I'm very scared to play. But well, you know, it's Fan Friday. We missed these, right? Um, also, I, I don't remember who won Whimsicott. Waylord, I'm sorry. It, it, we, we'll, we'll probably play it one day. We'll play it one day for a Saturday or something. Um, apologize. Apologize. I was I just was in a very weird mood when um, all that stuff happened. So that's why I didn't ever record Whimsicott, Waylord. Uh, but yeah, we're looking for a opponent right now playing our good old Mega Tyranitar deck. And we'll see what happens. There we go, guys. <clears throat> we're putting it Disorder. Disorder. Disorder deer. Make sure you say the name right. It's deer. It's not deer. It's deer. Like D E R. Like I see that deer. Go Bambi. All right. So call the coin flip. Hopefully, you know we always want to go first. But I guess it like essentially doesn't matter because as long as we're flying flipping turn one, they were doing great things here on the the T F K channel, right? All right, so we won the coin flip. Fantastic. Yes. All right. So one thing we could have put it in the deck as well as a Hoopa, just to search out the train It's a little bit easier, but I think we're fine. Uh, so we get Spirit 2. We get a Compressor, which could put like a dark, two Darks and like maybe a Cynthia in the discard pile. I originally had Coerces in here as well, but then we, we didn't really have that much bin spots. And I was like, man, Cynthia is pretty good. Uh, maybe put one Coerce in here as well. That's another good card to put in here probably. We could Compressor, discard a Mega Tyranitar, then stretch it for it. And Dark Patch to it. Ooh, that could be really spicy. Why is so many Pokemon coming down right now? Stop it. What is happening with my opponent's deck right now? Alright, so we'll compress her. I think I want to go for this really weird play. I want to discard the Tyranitar. Uh, discard a Dark Energy. And discard a Cynthia. That's a really weird idea, Josh. But it might work. We'll stretch her. Discard Pilot in hand. We'll grab the Tyranitar. We'll put the Tyranitar down. We will Dark Patch to the bench. Uh, I don't think we attach the, 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 the thingy because then it could be like Field Blower off or something. Uh, we don't really care too much about our abilities. That's why I don't have Field Blower in the deck. Alright, so we get Ultra Ball for double... For, we can discard double Dark with this. So Ultra Ball, discard double Dark. We will grab a Coco. We could grab the Dark Eye, give it free treat. Um, next turn? So we'll grab the Dark Eye. So we have free treat next turn. So we'll grab the Dark Eye. Put the Dark Eye down. Put down T Mac with Secret Base. And then we'll just press done until our opponent's turn. Really nothing else we can really do. Now, what kind of deck is he playing? Well, he's playing a Rainbow Forest deck. It's Rainbow Road, guys. Now, I guess one of the bad things here, if he does knock out the Spirit we no longer have our good old Stretcher. But to take a knockout this turn, he needs a Max Luxor DC attachment, which he didn't put that down. So the Xerneas could not take 20 damage. Uh, Ultra Ball, I guess it really doesn't matter. We're going to pretty much one-shot these guys no matter what. Uh, so Ultra Ball is going to escape rope or something else. There's an Octo for next turn. So do we in him? Like, he has an Octo for next turn, which could help his board stay. I think we in him so he doesn't have the Octo anymore. Oh, nope. He's just going to stick more of the Octo away. Okay, cool. What? Whatever, man. You do you. Whatever, man. I don't know what just happened. Whatever. Cool. Okay. Hmm. What Nine Tails is he playing? There's one Nine Tails that like locks the the stadium in play, which could be really bad for us. Uh, if he like puts like a Burbank down or something, or just like a Skyfield. So this guy's a DCE and a Carbink. Okay. Hmm. Now the bad thing about this deck is my opponent's playing a non EXGX deck. So we've knock out six of these guys. Well, he could potentially one shot us. We're weak to fighting, so to two forty. But he probably plays Skyfield, right? So there's a Shea Bay. Oh, good old Shea Bay making an appearance here today. So he's going to shame him for two. Okay, I'm fine with this, actually. I'm fine with this play. You can shame him for two, buddy. We now have a shame on the field, which missed two more EX or GX to easily knock out. There's a fear about going to the bench Xerneas. Uh, we still pretty much one shot, I think, with a Cocoa Flip. So there's a Spear Link here. Man, I wish at this point I had a... 
Coal Risk. I can get seven cards. But with Cynthia for six, still pretty good, right? We just need a Mega Turns our Coco and... Okay, well, that's not what we... Okay, well, we didn't get there, get there. Um... We could double Mega Turbo, but there's really no need right now. So I'm gonna, oh no, we're not gonna make a Turbo Josh. What did I just tell you? We're gonna Nightmare, put him to sleep actually, and see this Mew will stay asleep. And Heads wakes up unfortunately. Okay, well that's unfortunate. It happens though. Okay, hmm. There's a DC going instead of Xerneas. So right, if you don't know, Rainforest does 10 plus 30 for each different type on your opponent's bench. On their bench, sorry, not our opponent's bench. So right now he's doing a 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 170. Uh, which doesn't knock us out, which is great. He needs a bunch of different types to do that, okay. He can knock out the Spirit Tomb pretty easily, right? Which is pretty bad. Um, it gets rid of our Spirit Tomb. We have no more Stretcher, which is unfortunate. We've already played it. So Sycamore discards a Bystar and discards the Ninetales. So he did play the Barrier Shrine one to lock the abilities, or lock the Stadium play. And here we see the Stadium Skyfall coming down to the field. Now this is when he needs the Ninetales. Uh, so we see the Xerneas coming down, and we'll see a knockout this turn. Go down to five. Oh, see so a six in hand goes to seven. Do we Lele for in? I think so. I think we... So what I'm scared about here, if we put a stadium down, he gets rid of the Shaman, right? And we kind of really need the Shaman on the bench uh, to help us win the game. I think that's, like, definitely what we need here. Hmm. So instead of the Mega Tyranitar, okay. Uh, we have free treat right now, which is fine. Onto our turn. Oh, there's a Coco. Spit out Coco. We will... Oh, man, I wish we had Colrush right now. We'll put a Dark Energy active. We'll put a Dark Energy active. All right. And, uh... I think we sent you here to save the Layla for later on. We need a DC to start, start flipping. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. Alright, so what do we do now? Uh, well, we cried just a little bit. I guess we retreat into the Coco and just press done. Now, we could get energy to the, the Tyranitar. But the Destroy King doesn't really do anything right now. Um, so Destroy is done right now. I don't want to waste my, my, my Dark Patches just yet. Yeah, I want to hold on to them. Kind of unfortunate we didn't find a DCE. But I mean, we played, we played four of them. We found a Coco, but no DCE. There's a Talmud. We're going to see his prize cards. So he has a DCE prize, DC in the active, and a DC in the discard pile. But he probably plays like Special Charge, right? Imagine so. There's an Ultra Ball. A Golden one coming down. Okay. Let's see. He discards a Rim Rain. And something else. Okay. Is he going to get an Octo? Does he have another Octo in the deck? You can see his prize cards. Oh, Ratata. All right, which can get rid of tool cards. Okay. So it's going to Rainbow Forest for a 200. Oh, let's see what prize card he takes. Uh, probably the second one, right? Or the Octo? Which one is he going to take here? Uh, he took neither of those? What card did he just take, guys? I don't know. Okay, on to our turn. Uh, put down Coco. We're gonna end him. I don't know what he grabbed. We're hitting him down to four. Hmm. He grabbed a, somewhat a good card. He had to, right? Where is that? Oh my goodness. Okay. Where? Oh my goodness. We're gonna lose before we get attacked. We need a DC this turn. Oh uh, my goodness. Do we have all of our DC prize? Let's compress her. Three DCs. We haven't found a single one. Oh my goodness. All right. We gotta retreat. We gotta retreat to Coco again, right? We have to this turn. Uh, okay, so we'll discard a Compressor. We will discard the Tyranitar. And Dark Energy is pretty useful. Lele is pretty useful. The Juniper? Nah. We'll discard the Dark Energy. All right. We'll put a Dark Energy to Mega Tyranitar. He has enough energy to start swinging. But we're going to treat to Coco and just pass right now. My goodness. All right, so now opponent's turn. Hmm. Just can't believe we haven't found a... A decent... Okay, there's a Lice. They're going to bring a Mega Tyranitar up. Oh, my goodness. Is that enough for a knockout? Let me see here. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So it's not enough for a knockout, but he's going to be able to two-shot us, which is very unfortunate here. So there's a VS Seeker. So we have the VS Seeker for N just to get that life center out of his hand. I don't know why he like, grabbed the... It's pretty early that he did this. Um, he should have held on to that. There's really no need to do that right now. Oh, we finally found a DC and a Mega Tranitar. Okay, so what we can do is we can put a DC on this guy. We can put down the Mega Tranitar. We can retreat 
And finally, flying flip. Our first flying flip will come down. All right, so flying flip, do 20, everybody. So, do 20, everybody. Okay. Let's see. So, next turn, we can pretty much knock out nobody. He's going to knock us out, and then we can knock him out, and then he can knock us out, but then we can end him. And I'm hoping that's the game plan to help us win. It's not the best game plan, but it's what I have right now. Um, we could end him next turn as well, put him down to three. We just got to hope he doesn't have a Lysander. Um, well, he has one disc card, one in the, Okay, so he has essentially the same amount of odds, because he has three. In, okay, so EXP to the Mew, okay. There's a DC to the Mew, okay. There's a Rainbow Force to the Knockout, doing 200 damage. Goes down to three price cards. Hmm. So send a Mega Tranitar. So we have the knockout this turn, right? Um. So there's a Coco, or do we send the Coco in? But then it's just a Guzman knockout to later on. Which I guess so is a Dark Rider, right? So I think the plan is to put a DC on this guy and a Lele for N. And hope that the end sticks. Okay, just kidding. All of our ends are gone. Just kidding. I for, should have shouldn't known this, Josh. We should have known this, silly. All right, so grab a Cynthia. We'll put down Coco. I guess it really doesn't matter because he has enough bench spots no matter what. So Cynthia here. We can't put down a Stadium card because he goes for the Shaman. Okay, so we get double Dark Pass this turn, which is really nice. So Dark... Wait, do we have enough to, to swing this turn with this guy? I think we do, actually. Oh, my goodness, we do. So we can put double Dark Patch on this guy. Retreat and take a knockout with our... We make sure we have enough, right? Well, yeah, 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 we do. So retreat to this guy and actually destroy King with the new Tyranitar. There we go. Do 210. Take a knockout. Go down to five price cards. All right. Now, you can send up Mew this turn uh, and swing with us. He's got the EXP share, which allowed him to do that if he wants to go that route. There's another Mega Tyranitar going ahead. I don't care about that. Uh, but the Mew's not taking a knockout either. It's only 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 160 right now. And then we take a knock on the Mew. Or we can find a DCE and flying flip and put a bunch of Pokemon in, in, in like, in, uh, in Harper's way of being knocked out. Huh? Very nice. Okay. So here comes the Mew. I don't think, I mean, if he takes a knockout here, he has to have a life center this turn, right? So there's a Rainbow, or uh, Fairy to Xerneas. Okay. Does he have a VS Sector for a life center this turn? Or in a Pokemon to put down as well. He could do that, another thing as well. That's another thing he could do. Oh my goodness, what is he going to do here? <coughs> now, if he keeps the 5 bench, we can also try to put down Team Mango Secret Base. Okay, so this is a Rainforest, not knocking us out. Oh my goodness, alright, so 140 onto our turn. We get a computer search. So we could go for the Flying Flip play. Takes a knock out this guy. Or... Do we go for Guzma and knock out the uh, the Xerneas on the bench? Can we... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're 10 damage short from knockout of the... Le oh, Lele doesn't matter, matter this turn because we can't do that. So I think we computer search, discarding the... Trans Wheel Link. And, wait, do we even have Guzma in the deck? <gasps> the Guzma's prize! Oh, no. That's terrible news, guys. That's terrible. That is terrible news here. All right, so we're going to do this computer search of DCE. Put a DC on this guy. One, two, three. We go for Destroyer King. Okay. So my plan next turn. Okay, so we'll put down four price cards. All right. Get it in. So my plan next turn is put a Dark Energy in the Lele and in him down to low hand size. And then he does it, he's not able to bring a new Pokemon out. That is the goal here. I don't know if it's going to work. So this is a Joltik coming down. I don't care about Joltik. Yeah, I put a Dark Energy to the, to the Lele and the Enum down to the one card. I hope that one card sticks. That is the plan. I don't know if it's going to work, but it is our option right now. I don't think we, I don't, do we have a DCE prize as well? One, two, three. We have one left somewhere. Is it in the deck? Is it not in the deck? I don't know. Yeah. We'll be able to take a knock out the snare. So is it in? <sighs> Gets rid of our Dark Energy. Okay, that's very unfortunate. And our VS Sinker for NX turn. Okay, let's see. What do we get? And, okay. We don't have the knockout just yet. There's a Xerneas coming down. Okay. There's a Fair Energy to the Xerneas. Uh, he's going to take a knockout getting Sycamore and the Octo probably, right? He has to grab those cards. Like, there's no way he doesn't grab those two cards. Yeah, he definitely grabs these two. 
All right, so send it to Coco. Okay. How many DCs has he played? Uh, three. All right, spit up Coco. We'll put down Lele. We'll wonder tag. Yes. There's two dark energy in the deck. So we'll press done. And then we'll in them. We need to find one of these dark energies. No! Oh my goodness. All right, so now what do we do here? Do we risk it and put it in swing with this guy? Like, that's our only option, right? If we don't, then he just knocks us out next turn no matter what. So we have to send it to Destroyer King right now. Hope Destroyer King... Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's not enough. Oh my goodness. We got to send Destroyer King. We got to go for the Destroyer King. Doing like a billion damage. Taking a knockout. Doing 330 damage. Going down to three price cards. But man, this is so risky. There's a Guzman that we need to lay earlier. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, guys. Does he have a DC? Go to send it to Jolt, right? It's for a treat? No? It does have free tree. Why would you not send it up? Oh my goodness. Does he have a DC? There's a sycamore. What? Well, I. Oh, no. <laughs> that was such a hard matchup. All right, it's rest. Okay. All right. Fine, fine, fine. We'll take that. Like I said, it's a very hard matchup. Hmm. Oh, press done. All right. Hold on. What are we recording? What am I recording? When am I recording? I'm recording now, princess. I'm recording now. Are we where? Oh, heck yeah. I'm to go first. All right, so we'll send up Coco. We'll put down Coco. We'll put down Darkrai. We'll press done, and we're going first, man. If we try to get Dark Energy, I'll be so excited. This is like the optimal hand. We got a DC as well. Oh my goodness, it's a Lycanroc deck. Oh my goodness, guys, you didn't tell me it was fighting. Oh my goodness, why can't we play against fighting on Expanded Thursday? Uh, like we didn't hit none of the fighting decks, and oh my goodness, today we hit one playing our, our Dark deck. My girlfriend just said my life's a meme. Chelsea, thank you so much. I said I'm playing a meme deck, and she said your life is a meme. Thank you, Chelsea. You're the best. Love you, girl. All right, so Juniper? She's so mean to me. Okay, so, well, we missed the dark ride. Good, or we missed whatever. All right, cool, great. Uh, we'll retreat into, we missed the Tyrannosaurus, what I meant to say. We'll press done, okay. All right, so I'm gonna draw a card, okay. See, Ultra Ball? What are they playing here? Some kind of fighting deck. I don't know what it is. I just saw Lightning Rock. Oh my goodness. I'm so scared right now. I'm so scared. Mega Trinitar. Hmm. I mean... Uh, we, oh my goodness. I'm so, okay. Okay. And Lightning Rock and Lele. This is good. Okay. Whatever. Hey, he's probably not going to bench a lot of Pokemon. Okay, there's a Bust Wall. Where is Mewtwo when you need him? Hmm. That is the question of the day we're going to be asking ourselves. So, computer search, discarded two cards, discards a fighting and a choice muscle band. Muscle band, not a choice band, a muscle band. Okay, going to draw, get a card. There's a floatstone and a sycamore. Boom, high five. Way to go, opponent. You're the best. I hope you hit like a Deontay and a strong energy. You need to blow me up this turn to make my day. Well, we hit it. Okay, energy there. Does he have the Deontay? That's still not a knockout. He needs strong energy this turn. He needs a strong energy and a Deontay. Well, there's a strong energy. That's 100. Let's see here. What else does he have? So, oh, there's a baby buzz swole. Okay. Now, the good thing is we can start spreading. Okay. So, 50. Oh, 30 to this guy actually hurts our dark ray. It's not very nice of him. So, let's dip it up, Coco. We'll put a DC in this guy. We'll go for N. We're looking for a Tyranitar this turn. And that's what we really need right now. Just kidding. Didn't hit any of those cards. Uh, we'll put down T-Mac Secret Base. We will retreat into the Flying Flip. And uh, we'll compress it first. We'll discard some Dark Energies, right? Okay, so discard. Dark Energy. We already have it in the discard pile. We can discard the Guzma. And probably the Cynthia. Yep. Alright, so we'll go for... Oh, I guess we could go for the Compressor here. We'll Compressor, discard a Compressor. How many Dark Energies does this girl 
three already. Well, we probably don't need this card, this card anymore. Uh, probably just the dark, the compressor is probably fine, right? I think everything else pretty much is neat in the deck. So we just start the compressor, and we'll go for fly flip, doing twenty to everybody. Alrighty, congratulations. <sighs> so he's gonna take a knock on the bench. I really wish we had a Mewtwo so we can blow him up. That'd be a good card to have. What second Pokemon was that he just discarded? An Oracorio. Hmm. Very nice. Alright, so it's a Deontay. Great, good, great, fantastic. Alright, so hey, it takes 20 from the Magma base though, so that's great. Okay. Let's see here. So we're gonna take a double knockout this turn, go down to four prize cards. We get in spread. Okay, there's a fighting okay, fighting you okay, fighting you there. There's a jet punch, okay. So let's see. He has four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. We'll spread again. Um nowhere near enough for knockout anywhere anytime soon. Okay. Hope we talk to a mega Tyranitar. that'd be pretty nice. That was like a tease. Like you get an ultra ball. Discarding the DCE though, which is kinda unfortunate to grab the Tyranitar. We have one DCE left. So if we done the trade guitar, we'll put that down. We will... Like, how do we even win right now? Like, we knock out the buzzwell, then it just blows it back up in the face, right? So put a dark into this guy. And we'll go for another flying flip. Okay. Once again, don't attach a spirit link, because then he can field blower, and then it comes, like, pretty useless, right? Well, the good thing is he's not taking a double knockout this turn. So we see... Okay, Octo coming out. Great, 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 great. Another card I don't want to see right now. So there's another Pokemon coming out. So how much how much damage on the field? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 220 right now. Hmm. 220. Uh so what we could do is find a spirit tomb this turn, right? Knock out this guy. Um Okay, so there's a VS Seeker. So a stretcher. Okay. We'll grab a Coco. I'm just trying to thin deck out right now at this point. We'll put down Coco. We'll put a Spirit Link, Mega Titar, and VS Seeker for it in. Yeah. So we'll go for in here. Okay. Man, I wish we had a, 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 a D. We only have one DC left, too, as well. Ooh, we have the play. Uh, what price, though, is the question. All right, so Ultra Ball, discard Cynthia and, and Lele. To grab us because how much so 4 8 12 16 20 2 20 we'll have 30 damage left which we keep two on the active and one of this buzz wall still not the best play but that's what we're going to do right now we're going to let spirit tomb come shine right now so let's put down spirit tomb we'll double dark patch to it okay is he weak to oh he's not weak to fighting all right so put that there Put that there. I mean, this could be really bad real quick. Uh, we're going for the play here. So, oh, no. Wait, do we? Oh, no. Even worse news, guys. Okay. Okay. This is actually pretty bad. Uh, because we can't move off the active. Only the bench. 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18. Oh, we're 10 damage short. Okay. I think we still knock out the active. Just try to take just try to take a knockout, right? Just give you a five minutes to move these damage real quick. This is so annoying. This is so annoying. This is not how we want to be played right now. Uh maybe we're too aggressive there. Maybe we should just destroy King and just like destroy his buzzwell. But then his buzzwell just swing I don't know. It's so weird. It's so weird right now. Just give me a second. Hold on, we will keep the damage on this guy for sure. Uh We'll keep 20 on him. Yep. So, let's see. 4, 8. Man, I hate that his 190 HP. If you have 190, it'd be okay. Because Buzz Buzz will, have, will be good to go. be knocked out next time, right? But that's not the case here. All right, so we'll put that. Okay, keep going. You know what's going to happen? Is we're going to take a knockout here. Then he's going to Beast Ring and just blow us back up. Like, this is so unfortunate. This is not how I want the deck to work. But, I mean, it's our only plan right now. Hmm... Alright. So there we go. Move some damage. Okay, okay. So 170. 
Oh, man. I hate that he's going to have 10 H. Like, I wish this guy both guys have 20 HP left. So, but 10 here. 190. Press done. Yeah, that's fine. That's all we really can do. So, I have two price cards here. There's a Team Max Secret Base and a Mega Trinitar. How many dark patches have we played? We have played two. Okay, so Octo coming up. Okay. So he still needs... Okay, that that's what I was talking about. Beast Ring just make... Be appearance right now. Okay, great. He has two buzzles powered up. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Okay. This is not going good. It's not... This is not going good. Oh, Guzma, great. We're just going to see this game. You're good. You're good. All right. So, play one more game. One more game, and we'll see what happens. So bad. So bad. So bad. Oh, my goodness. Okay. One more game. Like, we had a good start, right? We had a good start. We had the cocoa. We were spreading. We are doing stuff. And then that happened. And, like, great, great, fantastic, great, great. Okay. So, looking for opponent. Probably be the last game. I'm done Mega Trinitar. But we'll see what happens. Maybe this will be a little better. Shiny Audino. Great. Another fighting deck. How come yesterday we were playing Night March to counter the fighting decks? We didn't play any fighting decks, and today we're playing against all. What is happening right now? I. Pokemon. Please. Oh. Okay, so press done. So, the problem here, the big problem actually, is we can't retreat turn one and start flying flipping. Alright, so strong energy active. Okay, I mean, you. Uh, uh, <laughs> What is happening? Okay. Put down one. Put down two. Put this down. Put this on oh, this guy. It's Cynthia. Don't worry, we have stretch. We can get back our spirit tomb if needed. Okay. Okay. Put down Dark Rai. Done. Now, once again, this could go really bad. We maybe should have touched the Dark Energy Active. So that way, we could have Nightmare this turn and put him to sleep. Yep, that looks like we should have done that. Alright, so in our turn, we'll put a Dark Energy Active. We'll go for Cynthia, get a new hand of six. Okay, so we get a Coco for next turn. Put that down. We'll go Presser to discard some Dark Energies. Uh, Sure. And we'll go for Nightmare to put him to sleep. Alrighty. Great. Alright, so there's a set of Widow coming down. Great. Four bench Pokemon. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We're fine. We're fine. Now the Jet Punches. My opponent really hasn't done anything outside of these Jet Punches. Huh. So we'll set up Topic Coco. Okay. Do we have a for Cynthia? I think that's what we do here, right? <gasps> DCE top deck. Thank you, Pokemon. I think I kind of want to go for Goosma here and bring up like one of these Rock Ruffs. How much energy does I need? One. How much set of Widow need? Two. All right, so we're going to Lele for Guzma. Okay. Well, just kidding. What do we grab here? Like, it doesn't matter. Oh, our goose. Our goose is prized. <laughs> oh, okay, we need to play two Guzma. Okay, so grab Juniper. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So grab a Juniper. We'll Ultra Ball discard Juniper and in. 
Okay. Grab a Mega Titar. We'll put down a Mega Titar and be a secret for a Sycamore this turn. Yep, that's what we're doing right now. Another. I guess we basically have double free tree because the free tree Coco and then whatever. All right, so Jupiter Prayer. All right. So I think right now I'm just going to fly and flip, do 20 to everybody, and if he knocks out the active, I should have touched Dark into this this Tyranitar. Oh, we touched DC to turn this Coco. Never mind. Just kidding, Josh. Just kidding. Okay, so there's a Max looks there. Okay. Where's the Max? Okay, to the Rock Rough. Okay. Strong energy active. Jet Punch for Knockout. Hmm. All right. So the question of the day is, do we find one of our Mega Turbos? Hmm. I think we still go for this play, right? Uh, get Stretcher. So put down, put down T-Tar. I don't think so. I think we put a DCT active. We go Dark Patch to the Tyranitar. And then we Juniper hope to hit one of our Mega Turbos this turn. Do we need Stretcher? Oh, oh yeah, we need Stretcher. We need Stretcher. Yep. To put back the Spirit Tomb and Coco. And then we'll Juniper hoping to hit one of our handy dandy Mega Turbos. We'll put you in here for a reason. And there we go. We got your buddy. All right, put down Coco. Get the free treat. We'll put Mega Turbo to the active. And we will destroy our king for the knockout. That's what I'm talking about there. That's what I am talking about. So we got out of four prize cards. What do we get? We get a Dark Patch and a Mega Turnitar. Okay, that's not a Spirit Link. Here comes Soto Wudo. Okay, Soto Wudo being set up is very good for us. Now, remember, he hasn't played any supporter cards, which is fine with me. That's fine. It's fine. The problem here is we don't have Guzma. That's what we really need right now. Um, do 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 do. Okay, Flowstone, great. Good things are happening. Good things for my opponent are happening right now. There's a Max Elixir. What does Rockruff do? Surprise attack. Surprise! Could not knock us out unless he drops a Deancey. No. Uh, he needs a strong energy. Oh, but doesn't matter. Lycanroc's coming down. Come on now, Lycanroc. I hope we top deck it. I just hope we hit a freaking... Oh, a Lele. Okay. Is he going to end us? Is he going to grab Cynthia? Is he going to grab a Sycamore? What's he going to grab here? What's he feeling? What's he feeling, guys? What do you, what do you say? What is, I say in. I think he's going to end us. Definitely some good play to end us right now because our hand is pretty good. If you grab one, you're pretty scared because we have a bunch of cards. Ooh, a Sycamore. You would have won a bet, guys. Just you would have won a bet. All right, so Sycamore here. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Okay, there's a Lycan Rock. Are you going to bloodthirsty eyes me? No, you're not. No, you're not. No, no, you're not. All right, so it goes through, oh, it's three energies. It can save its GX attack right now. How lovely. It can just use its regular Claw Slash. It's actually pretty bad. Because that means next time he hits Elixir and a, an energy, he can knock us out next turn with this guy. Oh, what? Rim Raid comes online. Hey, Rim Raid, thanks for joining us today. So Claw Slash for 220. Goes that too. Instead of Coco, please let me top deck a uh, Spirit Link or a DCE. Well, alright, so put down DCE. Well, Dark Patch to the Tyranitar. How many Ultra Balls have we played? One. So Ultra Ball, discard the Juniper and the Dark Energy. Should grab a Spirit Tomb. Okay, and then we VSC care for Cynthia. I know we should end him, right? 100% we end him, but we need to find a Spear Link and a Mega Turnitar. Like, you could have Mega Ball, but that turns over, so we need to find a Spear Link. We're at Spear Link. I would definitely end him right now. Well, well, that's uh, going to be a game here. I bet my paycheck my opponent has a Lycan Rock in hand and get rid of that bitch Tranitar and he's gonna win this game. So our plan of action is to Dark Patch to the Spirit Tomb and hope it stays asleep. Boom, boom, boom. Sh no, no slow roll me. 
Put put it put it down. Just put it down. Come on now. And just put it down. Cool. Great. B string. I don't care. Where's your I know you have a light rocket hand. You will lose the nightmare so bad. You okay? I, I, I hate this opponent. You don't get to win. Yeah, that's right. You don't get to win. No, you had you had a Guzman the whole time. Who cares? Great, great, great job today, guys. Um, hope you have a great, hope you have a great day. Don't play this deck. Have a great Friday. See you Monday. Thanks for joining us today. Glad I'm back. See you Monday. Alrighty, bye.